Hello, you're through to Warpstone TV, and today we're doing chevrons for the Iron Warriors Legion, or you can use them on anything you really want, like uh, some bolters for a separate legion, loyalists, you can do it for anything really, on your tanks. I'm just showing off a model I did for my creations of Bile, uh, an Iron Warrior who's joined Bile's side, basically. Uh, and then I'm just going to show you how to do it on the shoulder pads. Just a quick, easy way. Doesn't take very much time to do this. So first off, I started with Lead Belcher spray, and then I've gone to Avalon Sunset base coat. I don't know if this is still available this color, uh, but what I do with it, I do use about three thin coats to make this actually work. It does come out quite nice, to be honest, this color. So I hope they still do this color. I haven't been to a shop for this color in a long time, so. And I do know they did do a spray paint for this at one point, and that's what a lot of people use to like paint the towel up, and they stopped doing that for some reason. I honestly don't know why they didn't do stop doing that. It was such a good bloody color. Uh, but yeah, so now you see I'm just speeding up the process and second layer, and then there'll be a third layer that's added on. So now that has dried, uh, we'll be going on to the contrast paint of Nasdreg Yellow. Uh, this is a really nice contrast paint, and especially for people who play Imperial Fist. Guess it's just an easier way to add all the shading for the yellow of Imperial Fist players, but this is a really good uh, sort of shade. I know it's a contrast paint, but it's a nice shade. It dulls down that yellow so you can add a highlight to that because yellow is always a harder color to highlight since it's like white it's hard to highlight white that's in my opinion anyway if you like highlighting white that, that that's great for you i, I wish i liked highlighting white <laughs> or, or yellow to be honest so now we're going on to the actual chevrons themselves i've got a quite a thin brush here uh we're going to use a bad and black and you just gotta take your time and try and get them evenly i know i don't fully get these even uh but if you're doing like a whole squad of marines 10 you can't see it from a 10 squad of iron warrior marines you can't see if them lines are that messed up if you know what i mean see i did make a bit of a line mistake there so i did just get a bit of water and wipe it off quickly uh, as you see you just gotta be quite quite even with it but you can also uh tidy up soon with uh the highlights that we're going to do further on in the video so yeah, as you can see it's not really the best straight lines better way to do it would be getting that yellow tiny thin tape and putting that on but this is just a freehand version so now we're going after it's because obviously the yellows have been shaded we're going to go back onto the base coat, coat colour and add an extra a highlight of the original base colour. This just makes everything blend together a lot better on the yellow. And also you can kind of tidy up the black a bit better with this yellow now. Because you've already shaded it and it's going to blend to make it a bit better. So when I had seen online, a lot of people struggle with highlighting the black. So just use Mr. Kanaka Standard Grey. And just put a tiny grey line above each black line. And then it gives that sort of more 3D effect. You can go extreme with this. You can highlight even more than just a mechanical standard grey. But it just gives that little extra 3D effect. When you're looking from a tabletop to the model, from your like if you're standing a table like a good meter away from a model, it looks fantastic. If you just keep adding more and more highlights, the paint gets paint got job on a model gets better and better the more closer you get to it. So if you just added that first highlight of the Avalon Sunset and left it at that, that's fine. That's that's completely fine. And you can add more and more layers if you want to. If you want to take your time like this now, flash get yellow. It wasn't necessary to add this, but I think it just adds that extra bit of glaze to it to make it stand out a bit more and now we're going on to the forbidden paint which is uh 
This is a Cassandora yellow, I think it's called. Uh, what we did with this, we just I would give it a quick wash around so it blends all the yellows together. It does keep the highlights there. But it's only a very, very thin wash. You can even thin it down even more with uh, Limey Medium. So then you can still see more of the highlights that you've done. So you can just leave it at that now if you want to. Uh, or if you want, like me, and want to add a bit of grime to it. So I wasn't completely happy with this, I'm being honest. I was not happy with this at all. So I thought I'll add a bit more sort of grime by adding a bit of mud and a bit of metal uh, scratches to it. So all I did on here was just add a, have it get a little sponge and get a little bit of lead belcher and just dab a little bit on the actual chevrons themselves so it looks a bit battle worn uh, you can slightly tell you just got to remember that not everything's going to come out brand new on say a tank or an iron warrior especially if it's iron warrior they're going to be in, in dirt and grit all the time from defending fortresses or taking down them scum imperial fists fingers crossed chapter matter varak didn't hear that but Hopefully he slightly approves of the hazard stripes. So anyway, on the next part of the chevron, we'll just add a bit of mud, like I said I would, uh, with the go for brown. Uh, this is just a quick highlight. You can highlight this mud as well, but I didn't go into that. I just thought it was better just leaving it like that. Just add a tiny few dabs of mud, gives a better effect, and it gives it the actual armor, like I said, with the metal more battle worn and there that's that's all i need just a little bit of mud made dabbing uh it is really easy to do the dabbing effect like i said before just get a sponge dab a bit in paint make sure it's a bit drier and then put it on your actual model and then that is it really for these chevrons like i said before you can use the tape to make your lines a lot straighter but this was just a freehand version of how i did it if you would like to see a tape version, say on a tank, then I'll do that. If anyone's happy enough to comment saying they want that. Uh, as you can see there as well on the silver, I did just cover it in null oil around the edge and then a highlight of Stormhole Silver, just so it gives that more of a shine. If you was wondering, but that is it for this video. And thank you ever so much for watching. Uh, please check out any other videos that I've made and I will be making more videos in the future. Thank you. Bye bye.